हेलो एवरीवन आई एम डॉक्टर काशी अनवर एंड आर्थोपेडिक रेजिडेंट टुडे आवर टॉपिक ऑफ डिस्कशन इज फेमरल हेड फ्रैक्चर एंड वी क्लासिफाई इट बाय यूजिंग द पिपकिन क्लासिफिकेशन सिस्टम एक्चुअली इट इज अ सब टाइप ऑफ पोस्टेरियर हिप डिसलोकेशन टाइप फाइव एंड बिफोर गोइंग इन डिटेल ऑफ क्लासिफिकेशन Let's have a brief look over the anatomy of the femoral head, so we can understand it in a better way. Here is our femoral head. This one is uh, our femoral head. This is femoral neck, and this one is trochanteric region. That is the greater trochanter and the lesser trochanter, and the area between. the lesser trochanter up to 5 cm of the femoral shaft is known as subtrochanteric region and below then this this one is called femoral shaft and there is a anatomical landmark in the femoral central head which is known as fovea centralis so basically this uh, type of classification is based on the location of the fovea centralis especially in type 1 and in type 2 so in type 1 if the fracture line is inferior to the fovea centralis we call it type 1 you can look at here fracture line is passing in the femoral head but this fracture line is below this fovea centralis here is our fovea centralis but this fracture line is inferior to the fovea centralis so any type of this fracture is classified by pipkin classification type 1 and the fracture when passing through the femoral head and include the fovea centralis or we can say it superior to the fovea centralis we call it type 2 fracture line inferior to the fovea centralis is type 1 superior to the fovea centralis type 2 and any type of type 1 and type 2 fracture when associated with femoral neck fracture we call it type 3 you can see it here it is type 1 and this one is type 2 the fracture line is inferior to the fovea centralis and here the fracture fragment include the fovea fovea centralis but these type 2 and type 1 is associated with femoral neck fracture so we call it type 3 fracture and in type 4 any type of femoral head fracture pattern when but when it is associated with the acetabulum rim fracture here in the pelvic area the this one is our acetabulum any fracture in the acetabular rim along with the femoral head fracture we call it type 4 so moving towards our uh, detail of pipkin classification here is the summary of pipkin classification type 1 Here is the posterior hip dislocation with fracture of the femoral head inferior to the fovea centralis. So the main important point is inferior to the fovea centralis in type one. And when it is lies in the superior to the fovea centralis, it is type two. And when type one and type two associated with the femoral neck fracture, we call it type three. And no matter what is the pattern of the fracture but when it is when it is associated with the acetabulum rim fracture we call it type 4 so this is all about the pipkin classification hope you guys understand it if you have any question please comment in the comment section and we will answer to your question as soon as possible thanks for watching please subscribe our channel for more educational videos